Grace Nganga KT News, Nairobi. Now we are talking about respecting the courts and a Nakuru court has issued a warrant of arrest for Wastin Gishu Governor Jonathan B. His former deputy John Barorot and two others in the 1.1 billion shillings education airlift scandal. The four were expected to appear in court today as witnesses but failed to turn up. Here now is Ken Gashuhi with more. The hearing of the 1.1 billion shillings theft and embezzlement case involving funds intended for the Finland and Canada Education Airlift Program for needy students from Wasingishu County resumed today. Among the key suspects are Wasingishu Senator Jackson Mandago and former county officials Mesha Krono and Joshua Lelei. On Monday, Justice Peter Ndege issued warrants of arrest for Wasingishu Governor Jonathan B., also known as Kotimoja, former Deputy Governor John Barorot, former County Secretary Edwin Bett, and former County Attorney Stephen Lell. These warrants followed their failure to appear in court as prosecution witnesses, despite being summoned by the court. Defense lawyers expressed their frustration, pointing out that their clients had spent time and resources attending court sessions without the prosecution witnesses showing up even after receiving summons on 23rd of August. The warrant was, however, suspended minutes to 5 p.m. when their lawyer, Kipkoech Ngetich, arrived and told the court that the governor was engaged in organizing the swearing-in for his new deputy following Barorot's resignation. The other reason was because he had so many other errands, among as them attendance to the Senate and auditing, which is currently ongoing. And uh, the court was persuaded to leave, I mean, to suspend the warrants until Wednesday. The court also issued summons to Masi Tarus, one of the intended beneficiaries of the airlift program, and Dr. Joel Chalula, who chaired the Education Revolving Fund, ordering them to appear in court on Tuesday. The court had previously summoned Masi Tarus to appear on September 9th, but she failed to do so with the investigating officer stating that he was unable to reach her. Dr. Chalula is also expected to be re-examined after testimony from other witnesses contradicted some of his statements. Senator Mandago and his co-accused persons have pleaded not guilty to charges of conspiracy to steal, theft, forgery and other offenses committed between March 2021 and September 2022. Ken Gashuhi, KTN News. Well, don't forget to stay with us uh, throughout this live uh, newscast as we'll be discussing the matters of contempt of law or court orders and, of course, looking at if there are other ways